G'day, I'm Joe Wolfe. Welcome to the course. This week we'll introduce a collection of tools that you'll need in physics and in some other subjects as well. We'll introduce some scientific units, the idea of dimensions, we'll talk about approximations, estimates, significant figures and vectors. And we'll discuss the course itself. But first, something about physics and mechanics. Think of the last time you looked at a clear night sky far from the city's lights. Stars, planets, our own home Milky Way galaxy. And, and here are two other galaxies, the clouds of Magellan, that are thought to orbit around ours. Wow! Does it make you think about those questions that our ancestors asked for thousands of years? What are the stars? Why don't they fall down? Has the universe been there forever or, or did it have a beginning? How did it come to be like this? It's remarkable and wonderful that physics can now give us some of the answers to these questions. And on the very small scale, many ancient questions also now have answers. What is matter? Can we divide it indefinitely or are there indivisibles? I divide water in half and it's still water. I can divide it again and again. Now we know that, after several dozen divisions, we arrive at molecules, which are made of atoms, which are made of electrons and nucleons, and then quarks and gluons. But don't worry, despite the huge progress we've made on both the cosmological and the particle scales, there are still more questions left for you to puzzle over, and perhaps one day to answer. At the intermediate scales, Physics also provides answers, not only in physics, but also in the other sciences, such as chemistry and biology. For instance, we now understand some of the physical processes that go on when we're thinking about these questions. Meanwhile, all around us, physics is the basis of much of what happens in our everyday life and in most of the engineering and technology that we use. Well, I've been talking for a while. I hope that that helps you learn, but listening and watching are not nearly as good as doing, which is why we stop regularly for the quizzes. So let's have one now. Remember, no marks for this one, so if a question is difficult, you can run part of this video again to help you. 